Here at ICA this morning, Camille Brown, who is the Associate Superintendent for Leadership and Community, Pro Community Programs in the Archdiocese of Baltimore and the O'Neill Award winner here at this year's 2013 N NCEA, has stopped by and we're going to talk about the importance of school boards. Um, tell us a little bit about why they're important, what they do, what roles they play, and, and why they make schools and communities stronger. Well, first of all, thank you for the invitation. Uh, it's great to have a chance to speak about uh, school boards in Catholic schools. And I guess the first thing that I want to say is that it is very important for every Catholic school to have a school board. Uh, what we have found out is that successful schools have effective school boards. And these are school boards that are properly developed and by that I mean that they are operating within the committee structure, uh, that they have people who have an area of expertise sitting on the school board. And when I say expertise, I'm talking about uh, people who know about advancement and development, finances, marketing. Uh, we have people who can help with our Catholic Identity Committee. So everybody sitting around the table has a very specific area of expertise, so the recruitment efforts are very deliberate uh, when we're forming Catholic school boards. So, and what we've known from uh, Monsignor O'Neill Damour is that it's very important to include the laity onto Catholic school boards. So we do thank him for all of his contributions, and and um, he's just a remarkable person you know, at a time when the laity was just starting to get involved uh, in the operation of our church, and he knew that uh, going forward, really he was a visionary. Uh, it was time for the laity. Well, talk a little bit about, you know, how does involving the laity strengthen? What do they do? What kind of bonds are built when the laity gets involved? Mm -hmm. I think what I would like to do is kind of go back to Vatican II because um, um, the Second Vatican Council clearly called the laity into a role of being uh, part of the apostolate. Um, and actually there's a great document, uh, the apostolate of the laity, where the church officially called, I, I always say the church called them out and it's time, you can't sit in the pew anymore, you have to come and actually be engaged. Uh, bring all of your God-given gifts uh, in support of the church. And so I, I'm, I'm a firm believer that Vatican II did call the laity and our Catholic school boards are responding because the people sitting around the table are great um, accountants and lawyers and theologians and you know, contractors, these people know about facilities and, and all of the areas that we really need uh, for our schools today, they have that expertise. Um, especially I want to talk about facilities because we have aging buildings. You know, how do we navigate ourselves with these aging buildings? Uh, we're moving into um, really in deeply into 21st century learning and to technology. We need people who know the importance of um, supporting and advocating for our schools uh, to go in that direction. And it takes some um, bit of support to make that happen uh, in terms of financing it. Uh, we're out of the era of candy sales and magazine drives in our schools. We're out of that. Years ago, that's how we could do it. Now we're really into um, development, friend raising, I love that concept of friend raising, um, developing relationships in the community, you know, getting people involved at a different level to support Catholic education. So um, those are the kind of people that we really want to um, come and support us, but also to keep parents involved at a different level. Our parents are coming now um, very uh, knowledgeable about our schools. They want to be involved, and they bring a whole nother level of love to our schools because they're bringing, you know, the gift of their children. So we need to hear their voice too. You know, where years ago our parents were involved in a different way. So those are all different types of um, avenues that the laity could be involved.
All right. Well, thanks so much for talking sure. with us this morning. Absolutely. Thanks for the invitation. You're welcome.